friends today we are going to talk about how we can debug a fury app um starts with fury and it will, will stop the debugger at sap and i'll show you how you can do that okay so so this is the fury app we are going to use display customer balance i click on this okay and once i click on this i have this this is the company code okay so i have defaulted this company code okay so what i can do now you might say okay uh tell me what now we have to find the old data behind this okay how to find the old data so what we can do is we click f12 in the in your keyboard once we do f12 and we can click we can just hit go okay and let's see so if you hit go here you can see this is the this is the if you want the here it has the 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 old data service so i will just hit here and i'll just copy this control c and i'll just open a notepad okay and here if i control a space and this is the so this is the old data service i have okay now i will just control c from here this is the middle part now what i have to do is i will go back to sap okay and this is the place where we are going to go this is the transaction code i'll mention that iwfnd meant service okay i'll just double click on it and now we are going to hit the find button once we hit the find button and we'll just paste this okay and once we get this you can see this is the hit and we have to double click make sure you double click okay now you hit sap gateway client okay now what's once we do the sap gateway client okay here you can see now what we have to do is click on service implementation okay so you click on service implementation and that's our million dollar class okay now we what we do we just double click on this okay once we double click on it okay now what we can do we will just click on display object list okay and now here we click on method and always click on the redefine okay redefine and you can select set query options you can see get query and all those things whatever you want so here we will just put a debug now the debug one important thing needs to be external debug so i'll just put set external debug now what we are going to do is we are going to go to this place and we want to see some data so i know 1710 has some data and i'll just click go okay oops it says maximum number of session already used so i made a mistake so too many sessions were open so let me see i'll close this and we'll just do again click go and the moment i hit go you see this is blinking that means the debugger has stopped now here if you can see the query options you can see the query options here what are being passed okay so if you double click on it you can see the filter ranges okay and the filter conditions and all those things so if i double click on it okay and here you can see the bookers is you can see i just passed 1710 so here you can see that the debugger has stopped and the rest i'm not going to teach you uh, debugging you know it and this is after this a simple ABAP code so if you want to tweak anything you want to filter some more stuff you want to check what is really being read and all those things you can easily do it from here and you can use the same process for any uh, standard or data services okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day.